All right, well, Kike Hernandez may be keeping the Red Sox uh, hopes of winning this series alive, both with his bat and his defense, uh, making another great play to end the last inning as the Red Sox bullpen, which continues to be their Achilles heel, somehow hangs on here. It's still 3-1. to one. We are now in the top of the sixth inning in Houston. Uh, we got Alex Redugo up at the plate with the bottom third of the Red Sox lineup coming up to face the Houston Astros and some pitcher named Baton, Maton, I don't even know. Uh, that would have been a good pitch to hit, but Verdugo takes the first strike. But yeah, uh, two plays in the last inning that uh, Kike made that were a little bit uh, tricky, <laughs> to say the least, but worked out. <coughs> As I go up against, I guess it's Phil Maton, Maton, I don't know, I'm not good with names. But here we go. Inside, 2-1 and one the count. You know, Red Sox with that one inning where they had three runs. Other than that, they've been more or less kind of silent. But you know what? You never know what to expect from this team. Verdugo batting 360 in this short postseason so far. This will be the Red Sox sixth postseason game. I, yeah, they had the four against Tampa and then the one against the Yankees. This will be their sixth. And that is outside. Another ball to Verdugo. So, hey, let's see if the Red Sox can get some insurance runs here. Maybe put this one out of reach for Houston early on. I mean, that would be huge, obviously. But either way, I'll be here with my live reaction one way or the other here on Bobby Productions. You never know what you're going to get, but it'll probably be something needlessly bombastic and erratic. That's one of our slogans. It just didn't fit on the shirt. It really got me angry. All right, the walk to Verdugo. And let's see what happens now. Don't know who's coming up. Five-pitch walk. Number eight hitter for the Red Sox. It's probably either Dahlbeck or, like, uh, Vasquez. Or who's the other guy, Arroyo? Really not much at the bottom of the Red Sox order, but you never know. Maybe pull, pull wacky. <laughs> well, let's see who it's going to be. The batter will be Christian Arroyo. Oh, God. How the heck did he become the eighth hitter in the lineup? If possible, I think he'd be the tenth hitter. I don't know. But well, here he is anyway. Christian Arroyo. Someone had to play second base. Why not him? Oh, for 2 tonight. Swings and misses at the first pitch, which was a strike. I mean, it could have been a ball if he didn't swing at it. And in general, Matan has not been throwing a lot of strikes. All of his breaking balls have been out of the zone, but hey, strike's a strike in that case. Arroyo helping him out, as Arroyo traditionally does, help out pitchers in general. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, he's showing a bunt, and he does bunt. Runner gets the second, but he's tagged out, I guess. Actually, it was kind of weird, but he does get the job done if it uh, went through. I'm so I'm confused. Uh, runner got the second base, which is generally how bunts work. I'm pretty sure Arroyo's out. Did he ever tag him? I think he did. Yeah, he did. It was barely. I don't know why he didn't go. He didn't throw it first, just to make it more con concrete. But why isn't there a runner on second? And why, what, how did, did the rules of baseball change again? Because they seem to change a lot. I'm pretty sure in that scenario that the out was made and the runner advanced to second. Now why am I only seeing a runner on first and no outs? Like, I know the Astros cheat. I know they do, traditionally. And the umpires, well, they got their own hand in things, but... I mean, I think, I think Arroyo was out. That's pretty obvious. But I think there should be a runner... On second base, as is the tradition in these cases, as my eye saw a runner physically move from first to second base. There should be a runner at second base as per the des description I just gave of this event. So right there, runner to second. Okay, he's he's out. Well, what, what am I missing here? All right, we're going to challenge that a guy got to... He tagged him. I mean, I don't think it... Yeah, it was a tag. It was... Really pathetic tag, but it was a tag. All right, so I guess we have to challenge this now, or at least the Astros will, because they're rotten cheaters. But I don't. You know what? I don't care. Let's see what happens. Just another case of me literally watching something and not having it happen. It's, it's, it's just a little weird. But can you imagine, like a basketball, you see the ball go in the hoop? Oh, hold on. Up, oh, they're gonna do the thing. All right. So basically. After wasting our time and whatever, it, it, it's, you know, whatever. There should be a runner on, yeah, runner on second, one out. 
Why did we have to wait for that? I'll be damned. They got it right, but it took why another minute? I don't know. I guess we didn't think he tagged him. I don't know why he didn't just throw it first. Like, that didn't make it stupid. The fact that he barely tagged him and then he just stands there like an idiot. Like, just throw it to first. He was obviously going to be out one way or the other. I mean, I think he tagged him. He did tag him, but it was like the weakest tag. It was like if I touch this bottle of soap here and barely touch it. I mean, just tag the guy or just throw it to first. It's not rocket science. It's a sacrifice bunt. But as usual, we can't make these things easy. I'm not even blaming the Red Sox here. I'm just blaming baseball for some stupidity. Maldonado can't throw the damn ball at first base. I don't know. Verdugo's got green shoes. I kind of like those green shoes. Anyway, back to the game. Got Arroyo, who actually, for once in his life, made an out that meant something. Uh, Vasquez, not much better, but hey, maybe, maybe we can get a walk here. I don't know. Uh, Matone, if that is his name, Maton, Matone, the Matinator, whatever you want to call him, uh, not really in the strike zone here, that's putting it mildly. You got Kike on deck, so this is a big at-bat, try to get to Kike, hopefully, you know, maybe he draws a walk, but even if he makes an out, it's two outs to the runner in scoring position for Kike, I don't mind that, those odds. But for right now, let's see what Vasquez does. 2-0 count. Runner on second, one out. The pitch from Matan. That's a strike. All right, two and one. Vasquez here. See if, like, even if he makes an out, maybe he can get the runner to the third somehow. Although with two outs, if that is the case, it wouldn't help extremely. But hey. Every little bit helps here. It'd be nice to get a fourth run, be up four to one. Even and it's just a psychological thing, really. But still, with the Red Sox bullpen, extra runs certainly won't hurt. Wow, it's like the third straight, or not third, because he did throw a strike. But like that's the third curveball in this at bat that just went way outside the zone. I mean, I understand the strategy to an extent, but that is way outside the zone. Yeah, nobody was swinging at that. So let's see what Matan's got now. Three and one hitters count. Runner on second. See, I always thought the Astros had, like, this really good pitching staff. That's why I thought they were so good. I mean, and they traditionally do, but they haven't had the same luck, I guess, uh, this particular year. Verlander out, Granke just not really being a factor, and uh, Lance McCullers, I guess, on the DL. So, yeah, we'll see what they got. Their bullpen can't be much worse than the Red Sox, but right now, Matan cannot find the zone. And the Red Sox hoping to find a hit here, get another run in. 3-1 pitch to Vasquez, coming up. That's a strike. Yep, barely, but it is a strike. 3-2. and two. If anything, we're making it that bad of it. The competitive at bat, not bad to see. This is what I wanted. I mean, a competitive baseball game in the sixth inning. Hopefully it stays that way and the Red Sox come out with a win. 3-2. and two. Top of the sixth. Here we go. Can Vasky do it? Let's see. Here. Uh, ground ball, kind of similar to the bunt. It will get the runner over, and it, it was a close play at first, but he is out. So, all right, got the runner to third, and not really a bunt, but kind of a bunt. I'm actually surprised the runner went to third on that, but it was hit kind of slowly, so all right. Two productive outs made by two very not good hitters, but more importantly, we got out of that part of the lineup and got to the good part of the lineup with Kike. Hey, he's a triple shy of the cycle. This would be a good time to get that triple, although any base hit would do. So Kike is batting 500 in the postseason. Now, if they choose to walk him, I don't know who would come up. Eh, I don't even know. We'll see what happens. Looks like they are going to pitch to him. That's a swing and a foul ball. I mean, on the other hand, the law of averages are almost against him now. Like, you know, usually you say if somebody's like 0 for 6 or 0 for whatever, you know, they're due for a hit. Like, now it's almost like he's 3 for 3, you know, he was like 5 for 5 in another game. Like, he can't keep this pace up. And this is a big time to get a hit. So, I mean, you know, if he doesn't get one here, it's not like the end of the world because he's still 3 for 4. But at the same time, you want to see this be the at-bat. He continues it, but will this be the at-bat that breaks the streak? I feel like there's a better chance of 
him not getting a hit here. But we'll see. Oof. That was actually, that, that was a curveball that, you know, a lot of hitters offer at. Just all, just out of the zone. Swings at it for strike two. And again, when the, the bat is as good as Hernandez has been lately, you almost don't blame him. Really can't question a lot of what Kike Hernandez does. I do enjoy Kike Hernandez. Even if I don't enjoy seeing the replay of his swing and miss over and over again. All right, 0-2 the count. Two outs here in the top of the six. Red Sox trying to add to their lead with a runner on third. Astro fans wearing the worst logos in baseball, as usual. Way outside the zone. That's at least the tenth one of those pitches I've seen. Freaking curveball had no chance. But let's see if Kike Hernandez has a chance. One and two. Top of the sixth. Runner on third. I believe the runner is Verdugo. He Verdu went to first base on a walk. But now we will see if anything becomes of that. The one and two pitch. To Kike Hernandez coming up here in game one of the ALCS. Ball two. Two and two. Two outs. See, this is the baseball intensity that I missed these past couple of years. Been watching some Red Sox games during the regular season, but this is where this is where the money's made. This is the playoffs now. Trip to the World Series on the line. Can the Red Sox do it? Two and two. And he swings and misses. And like I said, he was kind of due for a not hit. So that will do it for that inning. Red Sox do not get the runner from third. That kind of sucks because the Red Sox bullpen, you don't know what's going to happen. But still a good effort. Not bad, not bad. A little bit of a waste of time on the bunt with the umpires, but any of these things happen. We will see more, maybe, after this.